टुडे वंस अगेन आई एम बैक विथ अ स्पेशल टॉपिक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फ्रॉम क्लास इलेवंथ एंड टुडे आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन दैट व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन कन्वर्ट द फॉलोइंग इन पोलर फॉर्म वन नंबर इज गिवन एंड वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट इन पोलर फॉर्म सो एज वी नोड इट अप टू नाउ वॉट वी हैव डन दैट वी वुड कन्वर्ट द कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इन पोलर फॉर्म राइट बट हियर समथिंग स्ट्रेंज हैज हैपन दैट हियर ओनली अ नंबर इज गिवन नॉट अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एंड देन वी हैव टू राइट इन पोलर फॉर्म सो जनरली वी नो दैट वॉट इज कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एक्स जेड इक्वल्स एक्स प्लस आई वाई राइट एंड देन वी वुड कन्वर्ट इट इन पोलर फॉर्म सो पोलर फॉर्म फॉर्मूला जेड इक्वल्स आर कॉस थीटा प्लस आर आई साइन थीटा राइट लाइक दिस Now just see that first of all, what we'll do? This number is given. We'll convert it in this form, in complex number, right? And later we'll try to perform it in polar form. Okay? So let's do it. So what is given? Just see our numerator as same. We are going to write because no changes are in numerator. Okay? One plus seven i done. Now just see. 2 minus 2 minus i whole square. Now here just see carefully that it is in the form of a minus b whole square, right? To which we can also say a square plus b square minus 2ab. Is it clear? Right. Now we'll perform it. So 2a square plus i square minus 2 into 2 into i done. Now what we can do? One plus seven i two into two that will be four plus i square minus four i. Now you know that i square. Let me tell you, i square equals minus one. Right? The value of i square is minus one. So what we can do? That i plus seven i one plus seven i four minus one and minus four i. Is it clear? Really, more easy it became. Now one plus seven i by four minus one three minus four i. So now just see in my previous video what all I told you that whenever our denominator is iota, whenever our denominator is iota, so we rationalize it and you know how to rationalize. Okay, so we'll rationalize. So first of all, no need to write it. Let us erase. Okay. So how will rationalize? First of all, let me write this number here: one plus seven i by three minus four i. Done. Now we'll rationalize up and down. Both side will multiply by three plus four i and three plus four i. Now very easy to multiply it: one into three that will be three plus symbol as it is. Now one into four i that will be four i. Okay, now once again plus seven i into three that will be twenty one i. Now plus seven i into four i that will be twenty eight i square. Here i into i i square, right? Now this you can see it is in the form of a plus b and a minus b, a plus b and a minus b. Okay, so what do we know the formula of a plus b and a minus b? That is a square. Minus b square, right? Is it clear? Now just see. Easily we can solve that three square minus four i square, right? So what we can do that three plus four i plus twenty one i that will be twenty five i. Now twenty eight as it is. Now i square we know that i square equals minus one, right? So we can write minus one. Now just see. Like this upon now three three is a nine minus four and i square minus one done now just see what we'll do three plus twenty five i minus twenty eight okay here minus is given na now nine plus four nine plus four and here yeah it is a square so four four is a sixteen it will be done okay. Sorry, four four is a sixteen. Now what to do? Just see that three minus twenty eight. This I will leave as it is now. Minus twenty eight and three is given. So of course we know minus twenty eight plus three is twenty five. So twenty five minus 
एन प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव आई ओके बाय नाइन प्लस सिक्सटीन दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ वी आर रैशनलाइज एंड लेटर वॉट वी गॉट माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव आई बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव जस्ट सी नाउ वॉट वी डू वी क्लियर दैट आयोटा इज डिनोमिनेटर सो वी रैशनलाइज नाउ वॉट टू डू सो वी कैन राइट इट इन वेरी ईजी फॉर्म दैट कैन वी राइट माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव आई बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव राइट वी कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस ऑफकोर्स वी कैन राइट सो वन टाइम वन टाइम कैंसल ओके सो वॉट वी गॉट वी गॉट वन माइनस वन एंड प्लस आई माइनस वन एंड प्लस आई वॉट वी गॉट फाइनली वी गॉट अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर राइट फाइनली वी गॉट अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो लेट अस इरेज दिस ओके Our complex number is okay minus one plus i. What is our complex number? Minus one plus i. Now what to do? Now just see my elders that we got a complex number. Now we have to perform in this in this solution. Okay, z equals r cos theta plus r i sin theta. Now what to do? We have to find the value of r and theta. Okay, we have to find the value of r and theta. So we know that the formula of r is r is root x square plus y square. Now you would be thinking that from where we'll get out the x and y value of x and y. So you can see it care care carefully that z equals x plus i y. This is a complex number, right? And our complex number is minus one plus i. That means our x is one. right and our y and before and after i no number is given so what we can suppose that y also equals 1 okay but our x before our x minus is also given so our value of x will be minus 1 not 1 minus 1 understand so we got the value of x and y now very easy to find the value of r okay so r so minus 1 square plus 1 square easily r square r equals 1 plus 1 that will be r equals root 2 what we got the value of r root 2 now we have to find the value of theta to find value of theta now you know what to do when we have to find the value of theta then we have to find the value of alpha then very easily we can get our theta so what to do we have to find our <laughs> value of alpha okay so alpha equals the formula of alpha is tan inverse tan inverse mod y by x okay the formula of alpha is tan inverse y by x mod y by x now what to do alpha equals tan inverse right tan inverse y by x wait this marker is not working okay so y by x what is our y our y is our y is uh, what was our y that is 1 okay and our x is minus 1 so when we go inside the modulus you know what happen and when we come out the modulus then our sign get changed suppose i am positive and i am going in modulus so what happens i am in module i, I am positive and when i come out of the modulus then i become negative right so what to do alpha equals tan inverse tan inverse okay now here it is negative so it when it will come out so it will become positive one by one so we can write alpha equals tan inverse okay one now just see at what value of tan our minus our one come at the what value okay so let me tell you you know tan 45 degree equals one we know tan 45 degree equals 1 so what we got alpha equals 45 degree now to 45 degree can we write pi by 4 okay if you have studied in class 10th pi by 4 now very easily we got our alpha pi by 4 and our r root 2 now let us write it now just see once again process we have to follow let me tell you a adjacent plane okay this is a plane okay in this plane four quadrants are given okay first second third and the fourth 
first second third and fourth because just see here here the value pi by 4 is the value of alpha but we have to find the value of theta so what to do just see our first quadrant lies plus and plus okay our second quadrant lies minus and plus okay our third quadrant lies minus minus and our fourth quadrant lies plus and minus okay now how to find the value of our theta so now just see in which of the complex number what was our complex number minus i plus i minus 1 plus i this is our complex number in which quadrant does it lie okay just see the value of our the value of our x is minus 1 minus and value of y is 1 plus 1 is positive and x is negative so what to do our complex number is lying in our second quadrant okay in our second quadrant now let me tell you it is very important to learn that in first quadrant what happens our theta equals alpha okay if it is lying in this quadrant so our theta will be equals to alpha but if it is lying in second quadrant then theta equals pi minus alpha understand and in third quadrant what happens theta equals minus under bracket alpha uh, pi minus alpha and in fourth what happens theta equals minus alpha so much done now easily we can find the value of alpha okay uh, our theta as we know that we have our value of uh, alpha okay so i'll erase this okay so we, we got our r equals root 2 alpha equals pi by 4 and we have to find the value of theta so theta equals pi minus 4 okay pi minus alpha pi minus alpha so we can write theta equals pi what is the value of alpha that is pi minus pi by 4 so what we can write that we can take LCM as 4. Now here 1 is left. So here will be 4 pi minus pi. Now what we will get? 3 pi by 4. Is it clear? We got the value of theta. 3 pi by 4. Now very easily we can find. Now what? How to perform it in polar form? Z equals R cos theta plus R I sin theta. So what we can take? That r and r both side r is given so we can take r as common so i can write r cos theta plus i sin theta okay i can write now just see z equals value of r what is value of r that is root 2 okay so root 2 what is our cos theta theta value 3 pi by 4 plus i as it is sin as it is value of theta 3 pi by 4 so this is our final answer okay so very easy to understand only we have to find the value of pi and uh, theta and r so thanks for watching the video